I'm going to show you how to perform the delta H adjustments, or in other words, the elevation adjustments. In my case, this is the observed delta H values that I have, and I'm just going to run you through what you are seeing right here. So what this means is from 452 to 351, so station to station, we are going up by 0.423 meters. Likewise, that applies for everything else. From this point to the next point, we're going down. That's what the negative means. Positive up, negative down. Now once you add all these values together, theoretically you should get zero. But you probably won't because it most likely has errors in it. This is the sum that I have right here, 0.021. So that means we are off by, by uh, 0 0.021. Now we have to take this and distribute it proportionally to each one. So I'm going to show you how to do that, but before I do, this is the formula I am going to use. You may have seen this in one of our other videos, but I'm going to explain it in case you haven't. So the, the adjustment is, equal, is equivalent to the negative segment length divided by the total perimeter multiplied by the misclosure. The total perimeter is the overall length around your traverse, and here's an example of that. So that is each of these add it up and that is your total perimeter. Now in this case we're working from this point to this point so we're going to use this segment length. So here's one example of how this works. So from 452 to 351 that's equal to the segment length divided by the total perimeter times our error. This is the error, this is the segment length that I, as I've shown you before and that's the perimeter. Now I am going to get this result right here and as you notice, it's a negative, which makes sense because we are over in the positive zone, which means you have to bring it down to zero, that, therefore we must subtract. So this makes sense. Now I'm going to do one more example since this is a very short lesson. 351 to 252. So this is the formula. I'm plugging in my values. That is the distance between this point to this point. That is a total perimeter, same value, and that is the error. Again, the same exact value. Now once again, we come up with a negative number, and this time it's only 0 0.002. Now mind you, your values are going to be longer than three uh, decimal places. Therefore, you must be very careful with your rounding, and you may even have to go back and redo it. Once you add each... Um, adjustment, it should equal zero. So technically this right here is equal to zero. And it is, if you calculate it out. Now you will have to appropriately apply the um, rounding to each one. Now how you do this, I'm just gonna backtrack a bit, is you take this point right here, this is the uh, proportional error in this point. We add it to our original mean, and that will equal our adjusted. And if you can see, it makes sense. So this, adding this, gives us this. It goes down by 003, .003 and as you can see, it does. Likewise, for, this, for the next one, it's the same thing, but this is a negative. This is also a negative, so it will either go not really up, but um, the number will get larger, and that makes sense. Now, the final step is to take your initial elevation and add each one to the next one. What I mean by that is the following. I am given 100 um, meters above sea level as the original elevation at 452, and now that is my starting point. And I am going to add the next one. So from this point to this point, we go up by this much. Therefore, the elevation at 351 is gonna be 100.420, and likewise for the next one, it will be as follows. I'm using uh, 251, so from this point to this point, we go up by this much, and then we add this number, or we add this number right here to the previous one. And there you go. Now note, when you get back to your original point, that is once you start here, you work through each one, going in a positive clockwise direction. Once you get back to one, 
it should be the original which is a hundred it should be if it's not then that means you've made some error along the way now again this is the elevation that I was given your starting elevation might be different but the point is once you get back to the original one after you've worked through each one separately it should be the original one now that is how you adjust the elevation for each of your points